So when you like speak to these individuals that do have this fear and, and, you know, like, how do you, you know, help to comfort them or like to give, to give like a, 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 like a, a, a more of an understanding of how that process works. Like, so if say if the person does have a biblical worldview of it, but they still, you know, have seen, like you said, different churches and different places where they do it in a certain way and it, it's not really either not effective or it's just demonstrative or it's whatever, like, like kind, of, kind of walk us through a little bit, like, how does that, how would you ex- actually explain that? Yeah, so first of all, when there's fear, again, try to get their eyes on Jesus. Jesus really isn't nervous. When I'm nervous, I'm out of alignment with him. So I can just tell you right now, as soon as you're fear-based, you're not, you're not in connection, proper alignment with Jesus. Something's amiss in your soul. So deal with it. Mm-hmm. Recognize your fear base and go to Jesus with faith. Stop acting in fear. Listen, when you act on fear, you reinforce fear at the center of your being. You can either act on fear or you can act on faith. You cannot act on both at the same time. You must choose. You can act on faith while you feel afraid, Mm -hmm. but you can't act on both. If you continue to act on faith, eventually you will no longer feel afraid. That is what happens because you're, when you're acting on faith, you're strengthening your faith and you're weakening your fear. Okay. So you got to get that first, get your eyes on Jesus, get into alignment with Jesus. Second, a lot of this stuff's really about bad methodology. Okay. The test of good methodology is pretty simple. First, does it get the demons out? Second, do they stay out once they've been cast out? If they, if they get out and stay out, then you're in a, at least you're starting in a good direction. Third thing I would say with good methodology is, is it pastoral? Meaning, does it treat the person with dignity, respect, and love? Think about Jesus when he treats people and interacts with people in the Gospels, whether they're sick or whether they're leaders or whether they're rich or whether they're poor or whether they're, you know, demonized. He treats people with dignity and respect. He loves people. And so this is really important to me. It's got to have a pastoral tone to the methodology. And sometimes I see methodologies that are either, you know, not pastoral. They're not loving. They don't preserve people's dignity and respect. Or honestly, they just don't work. You know, I was in, I was in Harlem, Lamar one day, and and I was talking to a pastor. I, I was at this church and it was a Sunday morning. I was speaking a demon manifest in the, in the church. I ended up doing the deliverance. This girl was born in a family uh, that was deeply involved in, in Santeria. And so she'd been dedicated to, you know, Santeria witchcraft uh, in a Latin American context. And uh, so, you know, she'd been dedicated. Uh, she, she'd been abused as part of the dedication ceremony. There was some sexual abuse there. She'd been raped or, and or molested eight times. She's 21. Wow. 21, right? So every horrible, terrible, bad thing that can happen to a human, this girl suffered through. She's 21 years old. I end up cleaning her up, doing her deliverance. Afterwards, I had a conversation with the bishop, who's just a gem of a guy. He's a humble Christ follower. He's a dear, dear soul. And I just said to him, I said, Bishop, you've got to do deliverance, man. Your people are coming out of these kinds of atmospheres, right? Witchcraft, abuse, et cetera. He looks at me. He goes, we try. I go, what do you mean? He goes, well, he goes, they manifest. He goes, we know that's demonic. So he said, we go over and we go, come out, come out, come out. And I go, what happens? He goes, they get up and run. I said, what do you do? He goes, we run after them and tackle them. I go, Bishop, wow. you're not doing deliverance. You're doing hand-to-hand combat. He laughs. He goes, I know. And I go, you're getting a little old for that. He goes, I am. And I go, how's it working? He goes, it's not. The next week they come back and we do it all over again. Mm-hmm. So hear me for a second. Here's a guy. He's a sincere guy. He's a dear soul. He loves Jesus, right? And he's trying. He sees a manifestation. He knows it's demonic. He's trying, but he doesn't know what to do, and he can't get him free, okay? Mm -hmm. 
So sometimes it's really good people just have bad methodology. Right. And if they could get some real good methodology that would just help them to actually address the demonic spirit, kick it out, close every access point so the thing can't return, and it stayed out, people get free. That's mm -hmm. what Jesus did. So we need methodology that's solid. So that's one of the things I cover in soul care. I talk about not just deliverance, but I talk about you know good methodology and what it looks like and how you could do it.